An up-close inspection of a patrol aircraft that keeps watch over Australia. While unveiling a $1.5 billion boost to maritime surveillance capability. We know that we're in the biggest arms race since World War II in the region. The government confirming it'll purchase a fourth long-range high-altitude drone from the United States. Once fully operational, the Triton fleet will help monitor this country's vast ocean territories and far beyond into areas such as the South China Sea. This is Chinese Navy. We'll have the ability to, uh, on a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week uh, basis, monitor the northern approaches to Australia. We're sort of halfway through acquiring our fleet and the US Navy has decided to cease production. So it does leave us in a rather awkward position. The RAAF's fleet of submarine hunting P-8 Poseidons are also getting a makeover and will eventually be able to fire anti-ship missiles up to 1,000 kilometres. There will be upgrades to the combat system, upgrades to the acoustic sensors and the ability to do broader surveillance and underwater sensing. The government considers the P-8 Poseidon to be the best surveillance platform of its kind, but in an increasingly congested and contested neighbourhood, constant upgrades to patrol aircraft are considered crucial to Australia's defence. Labor's most pressing defence priority, however, remains AUKUS, and today a warning not to let the nuclear submarine program slip. One of the things that's really clear to me um, is if we start losing that timeline early on, the whole thing uh, blows out. Including its $368 billion price tag. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.